Yeah, kia ora. hello. Um, just sitting in my shed and um, yeah, I was just thinking about another couple of knots that uh, I use now and again that I thought I'd share with you. Um, one that I use a bit is uh, when I'm trying to join a, a thick rope to a thin rope or the corner of a tarpaulin to a guy line. Um, and, and that is a sheep bend. Um, the name of the knot actually comes from bending over the, or twisting up the corner of a, a sail and folding it over to create a loop, um, much like this. And um, the sheet bend was used so that sailors could attach a piece of rope to the sail and uh, hold the corner of the sail, especially if uh, the sail had been torn in a storm. It was just a nice quick uh, repair um, that, that was easy to undo but wouldn't slip. So if I've got a thick piece of rope and a thin piece of rope, um, all I need to do with my thick piece is make a bite. So a bite's just folding it over. Um, then all I do is I just poke poke the uh, the rope, the thin rope, through and around, and then tuck it under itself. Sorry, that's not very clear. So it's come round, through, around, and tucked under itself. What we end up with there is a sheet bend. Now. What you can do, you can even go as far as making it a double sheet bend by going through once, twice. Snugging it up tight and you've got a double sheet bend. And that knot there won't slip. Now how hard you pull it, it won't slip, but you can always untie it nice and quickly if you, uh, if you uh, need to. Okay. Now, this is a nice big long piece of rope, and um, it's about 10 metres long. It's got a bit of a tangle in the end of it here. Sorry. So it's just a nice big long piece of rope, and uh, sometimes a bit of rope this long is a bit long for what I need. Um, when I'm spear fishing, if I'm, I, I have a, a line attached to my spear gun that goes up to a float on the surface. And when I shoot my fish, I string them onto that line. Um, but if I'm looking around the rocks for crayfish and pawa and stuff, I don't need a great big long line. That's going to be more of a hindrance than a help because what it does is causes the line to um, get caught up, tangled around kelp and, and uh, um, other rocks and so on. So I can shorten it up. So all I do is make a S or a Z. It doesn't really matter what one. But see, I've tripped doubled it up and then all I do is I tie a half hitch around that end and a half hitch around the other end and then what I've got is I've shortened the rope up because there is now three strands and the length of that one okay so I've shortened it up this is also really useful if the rope's been damaged because the rope's still got most of its strength and um, it's going to it's going to be fine okay so, uh, so that's a sheet bend, uh, just another useful little knot. Um, have a bit of a play with it and um, get to know uh, get to know that one. Um, yeah, so so those are just two knots I, I use a bit. Um, I spoke to you uh, briefly in another video about the sorry, I'm just trying to find the end about the figure eight knot, which is um, the figure eight. Okay. Now, um, in this guy's here, it's good to stop a knot, stops the rope going through a pulley, or if you've got a, a frayed end, um, before you can splice it or melt the end, you can tie a figure eight as a good stopper knot. And you can see why it's called the figure eight, it looks like the figure eight. Okay, um, but what we can also do is we can get a loop and tie the figure eight on the bite. So we just doubled it over. exactly the same knot, except it's doubled over, dress it up nice and tidy. Now when you're dressing up a figure eight, you've got to pull all four, uh, doubled up, you've got figure eight, you've got to pull all four ends, and you get a nice tidy knot like this. And I've got a loop that, again, no matter how hard I pull on there, no matter what I hang off the end of it, I'm always going to be, un be able to untie it on this rope. If you're using a stretching rope, like a, um, 
dynamic rope for a snatch rope on a truck or four wheel drive and that sort of thing, that's not going to work because uh, it will um, it will pull up tight and the only way you're going to be able to untie it is with a knife. Um, the other way, the other thing that this knot's useful for is when you're abseiling or similar, you've got to figure eight part way up your rope. Now, if I would then pretended to thread that tag end, this end here, through my carabiner, I can then feed it back through following the track of the rope around back through back through and I've basically just tied that figure eight in the bite but I've done what we call a re-threaded figure eight so that's on my carabiner and then when I've finished my climb I can untie it and the figure eight's still there for the next person so just three three little knots um, have a bit of a play with those see what you think of them um, you know, the more, more you practice these things the better and my goal is to hold me to it is one knot a week for the rest of the year um, just to uh, get you um, familiar with, with a few different things and and knots to use in different situations so we'll see you again next Sunday with um, with another knot thank you bye